we've been pals since we were 18. So we hang out a lot. We've always hung out a lot. We hung out, we met before we had ambition, you know? So, you know, it's, it's a very easy relationship. And we write these jokes and we know what we're gonna shoot and it goes nice and smoothly. I mean, I've been involved in a few cult movies in my career, but this is probably the most cultish of them all because they love it. And the fact that, uh, you know, the, the fans really put this film together, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's phenomenal. I mean, these guys, the guys work really hard, uh, you know, having the fans down every day, you know, all the, all the Kickstarter people who were involved. And it was uh, incredible because they were doing, they were working 24-7, apart from shooting the movie at the same time. But they, they didn't balk for one minute. They just did what they did, you know, and it's incredibly admirable, really. I mean, I think it's just so incredible that fans made this happen. I, this wouldn't have happened without them. I think it's, you know, it's a testament to uh, when people come together, great things can happen. And, like, that's what happened with this film. I think all the fans got together, contributed, and, like, here we are, Super Troopers 2. What is it, like, 15, 17 years later? Kind of incredible. This is the first one in R-rated movie, so yes, uh, kids I always 13, tell the yes. 13, go see it. Sneak in and go see it anyway. My six-year-old okay? boy loves Super Troopers. Yes, I know. My 13-year-old son, who's now 30, uh, I saw it like 13,000 times, and he loved it. And he was so impressed with me at 13 that that uh, that that you know, I, I was a cool mom for a long time. How about now? Not so cool. Well, the writing process we've known each other ever since college, so we uh, write very collaboratively. Uh, we create a detailed outline, and then we each write our section. And then we just collaborate and try to write about 30, 20 to 30 drafts to get a draft that we're really happy with. Oh, hello, Wonder Woman. Hi. The people who, who funded this movie were people who had seen Super Troopers 10, 15, 20, 50 times. And they just wanted to hang out with these characters again. So hopefully it gives them that same enjoyment that they got the first, you know, the, the, when they watched the first movie. I know that people who review the movie say like we're kind of mindless and, and sophomore and childish, but we actually put a lot of work into it, that. And um, you know, we like to say we have smart jokes for dumb people, dumb jokes for smart people. I think just good laughs, you know, I think I think we could use some laughs these days and we've we've found out that we have kind of a, a good audience and the audience a lot of it is uh, cops and a lot of it's stoners, and you can put them together in a room and they can laugh at the same thing, which I think is great. 54,000 people gave us money to make this movie. I mean, it was, you know, without them, there would be no movie.